in this video we are going to simulate what they call a Monte Carlo simulation. The name came up in the 1940s when Los Alamos physicists were working on nuclear weapon projects during the Manhattan Project. They were unable to solve their problems using conventional mathematical methods of the deterministic type. Then one of them had the idea of using random simulations based on random numbers. And then they called it Monte Carlo simulations. Here we have one of those Monte Carlo simulations. Each time I press F9, it redoes all kind of things. What is it redoing? I'm using a gambling situation. I start at zero and then just at random I either go up or down. I lost, I gained, I lost again, lost, lost. So we are going to mimic that situation and we are going to do that thousand times and then we are repeating all those thousand times 20 times to see what the outcome is. Let's get rid of what we did so far. I start at zero and then I make an if condition. If the random number which is between zero and one is greater than 0.5 then we go up by one otherwise we go down by one. And let's copy that into 1000 cells. So I would like to go to cell A1000. How can I go there and include everything on the way? Shift enter. And I'm going to put that formula that we just discussed in all those cells. So I click in the formula bar. That was the formula we had. And I do control enter to put it in all the cells we had. Of course, this is a random situation because I use the random number generator. So each time I do F9, I go up or down. So what did we do in the next table? We calculated the average of all the data in column A. In E, I calculated the minimum value, the maximum value, and the standard deviation. And then finally I took the end result in cell A1000. That means after 1000 random gambling steps did I lose or gain. In this case I went up by 15. But that could change constantly. I went down by 27. This is randomness of course. Now we are going to repeat all those thousand steps 20 more times. Excel has a great tool to do that. Make sure that you have formulas here in this case. And we are going to create what they call a data table. I prefer to call it a what if table. So I'm going to highlight that entire range. And we are going to put a formula in this section that uses these calculations and repeats them 20 more times. So now we highlight that entire range and we call a tool that Excel provides, which is what if analysis data table. It says what is your row input cell? Nothing really. And what is your column input cell? I could take any cell as long as it's not in that range because it will put temporarily its information there. And at the moment I click OK, I get all my calculations. It repeats this top section 20 more times. Second time, third time, etc. If you want to see what is in the background, I got in that section a table formula. You cannot type the table formula. But notice it says table no argument in the first section and for the second argument it says J1 or whatever cell we chose. And it puts that in there as an array formula. When you look in the formula bar it has braces around it. Don't type it. You cannot type the word table. You just do what I did before. You select the entire range including the formulas that we had references to 
and refer to any cell outside the range. So what we have now is a repeat of 1000 gambling steps. And look, in this case, I went up all the time by mere coincidence. Most of the time I went up and then I went down and I ended up with 21 times up. But the next run was 43 downs. So if you are a real gambler, you would have lost enormously on the second one. And I calculated here how often was I below. So I put in there a count if function in that range. If it's less than zero, 11 times and above 10. I got 11 times below and 10 times up. So I lost eventually. If I keep doing that, then you will see that sometimes you lose enormously. 15 times, six times I won. And that is all randomness. It's a Monte Carlo simulation. I put in here besides a conditional formatting, conditional formatting, and I did that basically with these bars, color scales, data bars. So it tells you how often you were losing and how often you were winning. And if you want to do that 20,000 times, then I get these results, eight times below, 13 times above. So in general, I'm winning, winning, losing, winning, winning. Monte Carlo simulations are not only a lot of fun, but they help you a lot for risk analysis in all kinds of situations. So I wrote a book that gives you 80 different simulations for gambling, for statistics, genetics, growth and expansion, financial issues, iterations, extras. And these are the 80 simulations that the book shows you. You can find that book at genesispc.com and look at all the great examples the book gives you, not only in gambling, but also in statistics, genetics, Radiation and mutation, what is the molecular clock like, DNA sequencing, genetic drift, in financial situations, risk analysis, scenarios, return on investment, Black-Scholes models, value at risk, expansion, predator-prey cycle, extrapolation, homeostasis, population pyramids, epidemics, when do they increase when then do they go down monte carlo situations more in specific for traffic situations brownian motions market growth cost estimates etc genesispc.com